webinar. I would like to quickly introduce myself. I am Vishna. I'm a product consultant at Sceptis. And I have with me Sambit. Hi, Sambit. Can you say a quick hello? Hey, hi, Vishna. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I would like to welcome everyone. Uh, I hope you're going to have a really learning session. Thanks. All right. So let's get back to this webinar. Today, we will be discussing one of the most requested and exciting topics, which is nothing but Salesforce data backup. We will be learning the top five things to consider when we are purchasing a data backup solution for Salesforce. So this is going to be a 30 minutes live session. And by the end of this webinar, we will be having a Q&A session also. So make your questions ready and we're going to answer those. All right. So before uh, delving deeper into the backup part, I would like to quickly uh, shed some light on the organization we work with. We are Septus. We are a pure play Salesforce platform focused company. We are into the Salesforce ecosystem for the for a more than a decade now. To be precise, we are into this ecosystem for the last 13 plus years. So when it comes to the partnerships, we are into multiple Salesforce partnerships. We are an ISV partner, we are an SI partner, we are an MSP partner, a PDO partner, and an authorized cloud reseller partner. I would like to also mention some of the achievements that we have crossed. We are one of the winners of the Partner Innovation Awards and Partner of the Year Award for the ISV Innovation category in the year 2022. Yeah, that's about that. Now, what about the business? What are the products and services that we have? When it comes to the products, we are having, at Sceptis, we are having two major product categories. One is Data Archiva and the other one is X-Files Pro. So under Data Archiva, which is the flagship product category of us, we are having three applications. Two applications are for Salesforce Data Archiving and the one application is for Salesforce Data Backup. Same goes for X-Files Pro. Under X-Files Pro, we are having two applications. The one first application is Salesforce File Management. That's an application that helps you manage your Salesforce files in your external storage system. And the other one is an auto document generation app for Salesforce. Now, what about the services that we have at Septus? At Septus, we are having more than 10 services that includes Salesforce cloud solutions such as Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, Pardot, and everything. We are having everything. And we are proud to say that we are an App Exchange product development experts. That means we are developing and delivering enterprise ready applications for multiple business domains. And finally, we are we are a Salesforce managed service experts as well. Yeah, that's about the uh, business that we are having. Now let's get back to the webinar. What we are going to discuss today, we will be talking about the top reasons for various data loss scenarios in Salesforce and how uh, data backup is renowned to be a most acceptable or proven strategy to prevent the, prevent the data loss. And what are the five things to consider when we are purchasing a data backup solution and how our flagship product data archiver can be the best fit for the modern backup demands. All right, we will go one by one. The first one is top reasons for data loss. Um, if you have, uh, have you ever encountered any data loss scenario in Salesforce? If you have encountered at least once in the past, you know that it happened due to some reason, right? So similarly, there are a plenty of reasons that contribute to data loss scenarios in Salesforce. Uh, I'm going to mention a few of them here. The first one is human error, which is the most common reason of all, followed by software failure, unfortunate cyber attack, unprecedented, sorry, uh, unexpected natural disaster, migration errors, hardware errors, and a lot more. So now you think, if you have encountered a data loss scenario, now what was the prevention strategy that you have adopted at that time? Did it really help you? Here I'm going to talk about some of the, uh, some of the most common prevention strategies for Salesforce data loss. data loss. The first one is enable access control. If it is your data, you are the ultimate owner of it. So you, are, you have to decide who can view and access your data. The second one is 
multi factor authentication or mfa this is a security measure that demands the user to uh, verify or confirm their identity through multiple level of uh, authentication procedure such as entering a username or password uh, or um, a, providing a code from a third party application or like that the third one is secure connection you know that your salesforce is connected with multiple platforms right so you should make sure that all the connections within your server and app, server and applications are highly uh, secured and are undergoing uh, frequent revisions then the fourth point is data protection culture you should build their internal data protection strategy or culture where all of your employees within your organizations are highly responsible for the protection of your data it's not like one person's uh, job to be uh, concerned about the protection of the data but everyone is responsible for its protection the last but the best backup uh, salesforce data backup is the most uh, proven and uh, a recommended strategy among all in today's world uh, when we, when we are driving a data driven world i uh, i personally say that all the organization not matter the size or an industry you should have a backup strategy in place from the day one of your business now we will see why backup is so important so there are a lot of reasons that make data backup uh standard from the pack however i am going to mention a few here the first one is data backup provides you complete access to your data around the clock that means if it is your data you will be having a seamless access to it that is what backup 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 can ensure to you the second one is having a, dat a data backup strategy in place you should not be worried about any data downtime scenario for your business that comes with hefty price the third one is uh, if there is if the uh, data is backed up that means there is no data loss and there is no disruption to the workflow so that in turn means that the employees are highly productive productive the fourth point is with backup you can gain competitive advantage over your high competition because most of the organizations today do not have a backup strategy in place so if you have a backup strategy for your business that will make you a cut above the rest and the final point is with backup you can achieve your audit and compliance requirements so all together all these factors contribute to building a strong resilience for your business that is what backup can ensure to you now we are moving to the heart of this webinar we are going to discuss the we are going to discuss something you have been waiting for so we will be uh, seeing the five things to consider when we are investing in a backup application for salesforce uh, i would like to hand this over to you sambit uh, sambit can you walk us through uh, what are the five factors that we need to take into account when we are embracing a backup application for salesforce Hey, Disna. Thank you so much. Uh, I would like to take it over from here. So let me quickly share my screen. I hope uh, you guys can see my screen now. All right. So, oh, so let's talk about uh, five things to consider while choosing a backup application. So, as Disna said, we have been working in the Salesforce ecosystem for a very long time. So, we have been uh, dealing with a lot of customers, uh, starting from uh, a small scale to mid scale to enterprise. So they are from various industries, from various domains. So they they use different type of sales for that. So after working with so many customers, to be very uh, precise, thousand customers around the world, uh, we found like uh, these five are very common things that usually people ask us. So uh, I would like to tell you uh, something about uh, these five strategies. So let's start the first thing. This is one of the most common questions that we often get, uh, like which app to choose when it comes to backup, whether we should go for a native application or for a third party application. So let me tell you what's the basic difference between that. So when, when you are thinking about a native application, uh, it's always better when it comes to the security part. Your data is getting uh, stored in Salesforce servers, which ensure that like, your data is always secure. But on the other hand, native applications also have few, uh, I would say, uh, disadvantages when it comes to support all types of Salesforce data, 
um, sometimes the recovery is relatively slow and also a bit of manual effort is always required. So, but on the other hand, when you're talking about a third party app, it is always advanced, faster, automated, plus the best part is you're always going to get a uh, little more than just simple backup, right? So uh, it's up to you, you can do your research, uh, but as for our experience, our understanding, uh, I would always suggest to go for a third party app, which can really uh, align with your uh, Salesforce or data production needs. Now, coming back to the second point, the storage. This is also one of the most common questions that people ask. If we want to back up our data, which storage you would recommend us to use? So see, I would like to categorize it into four parts, secure, compliance, access, and ownership. So first about the security part. So when we are talking about uh, storage, you always uh, need to consider a storage where you can store your backup data, which is highly secure. So some of the very highly secured environments are AWS, Azure, Heroku. You can also uh, check into Google Cloud. And the best part is the on-premise. If you are having an on-premise system, that's, that's going to be uh, the most secure one. So second thing is compliance. So see, there are a lot of companies or industry who are highly compliant, right? So uh, your compliance must ask you to store your backup data in some particular storage. So that needs to be considered. The third one is access. This is one of the very critical parts. So you need to always ensure you need to have a seamless access to the storage where you are keeping your Salesforce data. Ownership. This is one of the aspects that a lot of people ignore initially, but we would highly recommend that you need to own the storage. You know, if it's your data, you are keeping it in some storage, you need to own that storage. It shouldn't be from any third party or maybe managed by any third party providers. So now coming back to the third point. So this is one of the very critical part you know when you're uh, planning for a backup you need to consider applications which can back up your metadata and files as well so you know the your salesforce architecture is uh, built by the metadata so which means metadata are extremely important also if you uh, consider uh, certain uh, data governance strategies they will ask you to back up your metadata as well so that's why metadata backup is also very very important on the other hand files so you, you, you must be knowing that a lot of files are, files and attachments are uh, related to your data. So how about not backing up those files and uh, attachments along with the data? So these two things need to be considered. Most of the providers today, they support um, both metadata and file backup along with your data. But I think it's, it's up to the customer who need to you know, evaluate uh, the entire process, how the metadata backup works, how the file backup works before purchasing the uh, product. Now, coming back to the fourth point, ease of use. So, don't you think this has become one of the most critical part of any application, or not only backup? If you want to use an application, you need to have a very, very user-friendly interface. Then you need to have, uh, you know, automation around it. So these five points, what we feel like, you know, uh, are very critical when it comes to using any backup solution. The first part is setup and configuration. No one wants to spend a lot of uh, time in doing the setups, going through documentations. It should be very, very seamless and fast. Second part is automation. When you are considering backup, you don't need to put any manual effort, right? It should be completely automated so that you can focus on your core work. Then API limit. when Processing a massive volume of data, Salesforce has its own uh, API and other governance limitations. So you need to consider that as well and need to set up the entire process as for that. Scalability, this is one of the very, very critical part. Now, first say uh, you have uh, 30 GB of data now. So you are choosing a backup solution uh, which can manage, which can handle this, this volume of data. But think about the future. Like, you know, your business is growing, your data will also 100% grow. Now, we have seen customers who whose data has grown like in 10x, 20x in one or two years, right? So now you shouldn't be in a position where uh, when your data is growing, the application is unable to handle that much volume of data. So you need to ensure that the application is scalable enough to you know scale with your business as well. Now, there is another scenario. Uh, for say you are using your heavy user of uh, Salesforce work, sales service a lot of processes are dependent on salesforce platform now you do a lot of deployments a lot of integrations a lot of uh, releases so uh, 
you, your backup solution needs to be aligned with that as well so that it can manage everything the process in the back end needs to be run as it is now ui nothing to say much you need an application which is which, which a very neat and clean uh, experience you can use the buttons uh, but you know we don't need to search for something now the final point recovery now see if what's the what's the motive behind uh, doing a backup whenever any uh, data loss incident happened you should be able to recover your data right so this is uh, very critical a lot of uh, companies while putting the putting a uh, um, maybe just evaluating any backup solution they don't uh, think about the recovery part and this is where a lot of uh, providers also fail so recovery is 10 times more important than backing up so you need to consider the speed and reliability of the app while recovering the or uh, recovering your data must speed you need to understand like you cannot run a business without data right so if an application is taking for say a week or 10 days to recover your data back that's not going to help your business so the recovery process should be very very fast when it comes to reliability you need to understand your data needs to be recovered as it was before in your production of which means there should be any disturbance in the data hierarchies or maybe in the or uh, maybe in the uh, relationships of the objects so it should be uh, maybe the metadata file it should come back to your live instance as it was before now uh, you should have the ability to uh, recover a single record as well we have seen a lot of business who want to recover a single record maybe uh, due to this happens mostly because of human errors sometimes uh, some sales rep they might uh, by mistake delete some records so you need to uh, get it back so you should have that ability and bulk re recovery is one of the uh, most critical part you need to be you should be able to uh, recover your data whenever you want similarly metadata recovery is also very very important so as i said metadata is very important for your business um so the, the recovery of metadata must be seamless version compare this is also a very critical part when it comes to recovery a lot of business we have seen they want to uh, recover a certain version of the data so a lot of applications today they keep multiple versions of the data in the backup so it's, it should be uh, it should be the owner uh, uh, when when the recovery process happens when you want to whichever version you want to back uh, recover you should be able to do that now that's the five points um, now coming back to data archiver uh, as this now already said, data archiver is one of the leader in uh, archive and backup. Uh, we have multiple two, basically two archiving solutions, uh, which is like uh, native uh, archiving as well as external archiving. So similarly, when it comes to the backup uh, thing, we have a Salesforce data backup application as well. So now let me just tell you uh, what how we are different. Like you know what what kind of things makes us different uh, from big because you will find a lot of uh, backup applications on App Exchange. Or, or from uh, different uh, SIs are also providing backup solutions. Now, first thing is control. This is how we are different. Now, what we believe as we have uh, a complete data management suite and we work with customers in, uh, in order to transform their data management needs. So we always believe it's your data, you should control it, right? So control in the sense on the process and on the data as well. When it comes to the process, uh, we offer you uh, complete freedom to choose how you want to back up your data whether it's a full backup incremental backup or, or maybe partial backup anything and also objects which objects you want to back up a lot, a lot of uh, you know companies i have seen they just want to uh, back up a certain amount of uh, uh, data if not the full or so in this case you can choose which objects you want to back up and uh, how you want to you know run the entire process now when it comes to the infrastructure this is also very very important we uh, we allow customers to use their infra for say if you want to uh, back up your data in your uh, azure cloud we are not going to uh, ask you to keep the backup data in our azure cloud you can back up your data in your azure cloud uh, so that you can own the entire data so that we do not have any access or any anything to do with your data so now coming back to the cost part. Now see how we are different. If you if you compare data archivers backup solution with other backup uh, applications, we give it at a very reasonable price. Why? Because uh, we we definitely believe that uh, backup shouldn't be expensive. 
right? Because you are going to uh, it's your data, you should own it. And uh, also, uh, when it comes to the recovery part, we do not charge anything additional. So it's going to be very seamless um, at a very cost uh, effective price. Uh, if you see, if you evaluate, you are going to spend around fifteen, sixteen dollar per day uh, if you are if you are going with your with our solution. And also the other parts, we do not charge any maintenance cost, any additional cost, or any connect tech cost. So there is no real charge. That doesn't mean we don't have the uh, required features. We have all the features and functionalities that you want in a backup application. Now the third part is flexibility. This is one of my, uh, you, you can say my favorite uh, like feature in our application. So see, uh, we support every type of Salesforce application. Uh, whether it's, you are using a sales cloud, service cloud, uh, industry cloud, or any force.com app, or any custom uh, application that you build, or maybe any, any third party application solution as well. So, our application of uh, backup runs on every Salesforce app. Now, uh, we support standard objects also, custom objects also, as I already mentioned, file set attachment, metadata. So, these are all things that display gives you uh, that makes our uh, application very, very flexible so that you can. Uh, you know, run your backup process in the back end without any concern. That's it from my side. Uh, Disna, uh, please take it from here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Awesome. Uh, thanks a lot, Sambit, for the amazing ins insights that you have shared. I hope everyone understood uh, the top factors that we need to take into account when we are investing in a backup application for Salesforce and uh, how Data Archiver can be the best fit for their uh, backup demands. All right, so uh, let's move into the most exciting part of this webinar, that is uh, Q&A. I would uh, request everyone to drop your uh, questions in the uh, comments uh, in the chat session so that we can answer them answer those okay uh, i can already see a lot of questions are pouring in uh, i'm going to pick a few now uh, the first question is from alan uh, can we back up salesforce data in aws i think Sambit can answer this yeah of course as i said uh, you can back up your uh, salesforce data in any of the third-party cloud provider that is owned by you aws is one of the most popular third-party provider that a lot of salesforce customers are using so definitely you can use AWS for your backup, Salesforce backup as well. All right, thank you. Uh, the next question is from Christy. Uh, does your app support custom objects as well? All over to you, Sambit. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, it doesn't matter which object, whether it's a standard object, custom object, data archiver can back up any, any object. So yes, coming to your question, you can definitely back up your custom objects. All right. I can see a lot of question. Uh, considering the time constraint, I'm going to pick one more question. That is from Kevin. How to backup Salesforce data using on-premise system? Yeah, that's a very interesting question, uh, Kevin. Thanks for asking. Um, see, on-premise systems are uh, extremely secure when when it comes to uh, you know running a business. So definitely, we are one of the very few apps which supports on-premise system. And one, one more thing I would like to say here. Uh, see, when we are backing up our data in on-premise, what Data Archiver does, it can also allow you to uh, keep the backup data in your own server. You know, that's that's the beauty of the app. So uh, it's it's going to be under your custody. You can uh, you can you can ensure that your data is hundred percent secure. There won't be any any external threat. Thank you. All right. So. Um... Uh, can, we are actually running out of time. So I make sure we will uh, answer to your question via email as soon as possible. Yeah, <laughs> that's the wrap of the much awaited webinar. Thank you, Sambit, for all the insight that you have shared. And thank, thank you. you. Sir. It's a pleasure. Uh, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, I would like to see you guys again uh, in the next episode. We, we do a lot of webinars on Salesforce data management, file management. So you can visit our website uh, if you want to access to those on-demand uh, sessions. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks a lot for joining. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great day.